now the second thing is that how can we add the doc string um, that is each uh, class or each function or each module documentation into uh, this document so to do that uh, we have to do a couple of things first we will do ls and let's go to the cd source now, first of all, you need to know where are your source code, like your app.py in this case stored. And we know that it is in cd dot dot slash dot dot slash. And I think project is stored here. OK, so the project directory is stored here. So we need to copy this path. My app.py is in the project directory. OK. So now I can do code and dot and i will open the conf.py and i will uncomment these three lines okay so you can remove the hashes and now instead of dot we will give this path that we down download that we found out uh, that in our app.py or wherever your start of the uh, your python code is you will put this path okay and remember when I was trying to find the path, I was in the source directory. Okay, this is important. So you save these changes. Can you see that I was in the source file, um, source directory when I was trying to find the path. Now we will add some extensions. So to add extension, we will open conf.py. And we will add the extensions here. Okay, so it's Sphinx. Extension Autodog and let's save it and now close the file. Okay, and now we will go to um, the docs folder and we will run a command Sphinx. Dash API doc dash o and dot slash source so where we want to generate so dot slash source so we want to generate the um, documentation in the source and dot dot slash where is our root directory it's in the dot dot slash in the project directory okay so we got these two files app.rst uh, in the source directory okay so what we need to do now is we have to add them to the index.rxt so code index.rst and here if we want to generate them below these intro and test so we will add a name the name of the file module dot modules okay and let's do uh, in the docs directory make clean html okay everything is good now let's do ls and let's open uh, the index.html and now you can see that we got this app module link as well if we click the app module then we can see that uh, we got this function and we also have the source here it is showing us the uh, code in in this window and also uh, the so this is the doc string which is written here and then this these documentation is generated from this documentation so that's how you you can generate a, a nice documentation which is um, auto uh, generated and any new class that you add to the code all you need to do is uh, run these commands um, you can also automate them and then it will uh, add these codes